What is going on people? Hope you were all having a good day. So, you just got yourself a Galaxy Watch 5, a Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. I myself got a Galaxy Watch 5 Pro here. And you know, you set it up and everything, you're all happy, you're just like, oh man, I can't wait to, you know, see how this battery life is and blah, 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 blah. And then you get to one thing on the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro that you probably want to set up, which is Google Assistant. And you find out that there is a glitch that makes it so that you can't. So typically what happens with that glitch is when you go onto your watch, you go down to Assistant and you go to Get Started, you go to Open on Phone to activate, what happens here is it's supposed to trigger this screen that you're seeing, however, it typically does not. But what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how I fixed it. So first off, I'm gonna show you something that's pretty darn important and a detail that I kind of overlooked myself. So one of the things you're going to want to notice is that there are two Google applications because Google, because just because Google, that's why. You can't ask why, that's why. So you have the Assistant app right here and if you go over and look in your G's, you have the Google app right here. Now the Assistant app doesn't seem to necessarily be the issue. What is the issue, however, is this, the Google app. So what you're gonna do first is you're gonna go to the Play Store, then you're going to type in Google, and what's gonna happen is you'll see this app right here, Google, and then you'll see Google Assistant at the bottom. Well you will most likely see that, hopefully you do, or look for it anyway. And once you go into the app here, what you wanna look for is if you are in the beta program. Now, I was in the beta program, and I had kind of been wanting to get out of certain beta programs because what would happen to me with Google Maps actually on Android Auto is it would actually stay in like dark mode whenever it would update onto a beta, not all the time, but it did happen. So I've been looking to get out of them, but what you're gonna to wanna to do here is, if you see beta, or maybe even if you don't, you wanna scroll down here and see where it says you're a beta tester. You're gonna to wanna to leave that program. Now, I left it and I was actually trying to go back to making this thing not work so I could show you all from like the beginning of how I got it to work, but I couldn't do that. And one of the things you'll want to know is that this is probably going to take a few minutes like it actually says on screen here. It can take a few minutes to remove you from the beta program. Just let that sit. Keep an eye on it though because it did fail for me the first time. Now once it's done you're going to want to go back to the search results and then you're going to want to tap it again. Before it did say something here and maybe it says the same thing. What it says right now is removing your account from the beta test program. You may want to uninstall the beta test version and install the public version. So that dictates right now that the version that I have on this phone is still the beta version. It doesn't necessarily dictate that when you go to the actual app. Because notice here it just says Google like it's supposed to. But once you do this, you're gonna wanna let it remove and do its thing and I am waiting to kind of see if it gives me that. Well, it's probably still removing me from the beta test. Anyway, what's gonna happen is, once you see that red message, you're gonna wanna hit uninstall because you're gonna wanna uninstall the app you have installed because that is the beta version. Um, I would probably go as far as disabling it just because I'm that paranoid with it. If you wanna know how to disable it, all you'd have to do is go to the app screen press and hold, and then disable. And what'll happen is you'll see the icon disappear, then you can go back into the Play Store, find it again, well the search results should be up if you didn't press the back button or close the Google Play Store out. And then you're gonna wanna enable, or if you didn't disable it, you can just go ahead and hit update. And what's gonna happen now, let me see, yep. And notice down here where it says join the beta, but now it gives me the option to actually join the beta. Sorry, I didn't mean to press that. See here, it gives me the option to join the beta instead of leave. Now what's gonna happen is, this is going to install, and it's gonna take pretty long. I thought that would have been done. Now there's gonna be this awkward silence here. All right, cool. 
all right, not too much of an awkward silence, then you're going to open the app. Now, technically speaking, I guess you don't have to open the app because what you really want to do is actually go back to your watch, go to assistant here, go to get started. Now, remember, if you're doing this and you're being brought into the Google app and then basically you're seeing a little white box for a few seconds or you see nothing at all, that means that the beta app is probably still installed and you do need to uninstall that before you do any of this. So let's go ahead and let's go to the app. Let's go to assistant, get started, open on phone to activate, and voila, there we go. Now, I am not saying this is going to work for everybody. However, I thought this fix would be really important to bring out because, you know, because, you know, Samsung and Google being together in terms of their software on the watches was a great thing. But if you don't have Google Assistant, like, what's the point? I mean, well, there are probably a lot of other points, but yeah, overall, Let's go ahead and activate and your assistant will be right with you. Continue that. More, more, next, I agree, agree to voice match, yada, 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 turn on. I never read any of this stuff, which means I'd legally get in trouble if I ever went behind any of the legal lines or whatever. But yeah, now let's go ahead and see if it works because this is the first time I've actually gone through with the whole setup. So let's go. And voila, there we have Google Assistant working on the watch. Here are the top search results. All right, and one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to turn both of these devices off because, you know, I did see, there were some other solutions I saw that didn't work for me. One was actually removing uh, multiple Google accounts that, you had on the phone in the hopes of only having one and then trying to set it up. Google also said to wait 15 minutes, which was like the most in-store on-premises like PC tech answer I've ever seen. That was like, it was basically like a slap in the face. Like they're probably fixing it behind the scenes, but I'm like, I'm not gonna tell someone to wait 15 minutes. Like I, I waited 15 minutes, I waited 40 minutes. This didn't work for me. So this did. But as always, let's go ahead and see, because I want to turn both of these on. What I did see with other people was that it constantly asked them to activate the Google Assistant on here. So let's see if that is actually fixed. Now, if you don't need to be in the beta program, don't for like any of Google's products, because I only have issues more than I do have success with them. It's probably just me. Maybe it's other people. So let's go ahead and get the watch, I had to put in my password, not letting anybody see that, and let it start. Okay, so we got everything up now. It's probably gonna lag and stutter because it's still loading all the background services, but let's see if it works. Okay, your watch isn't connected to the internet, got it. Well, of course it's not working the way that it's intended right now, however, this probably means that it actually does work. And now my watch is still booting all those services behind. Samsung really should have changed the processor in this thing. Okay, so it actually is working. Had to pause there. And let's go to Google Assistant. What is two plus two? Two plus two is four. Okay, and as you all can see, Google Assistant is working. So it seems to be that the beta variant of the Google app is what the issue is. Go ahead and try and uninstall that. Um, I am dedicated to really trying to figure this out for like everybody if I can. You know, I am going through some stuff, moving and everything across the country. So I don't know how long it is gonna be before I make my next video or whatever, but yeah. Let's go ahead and have everybody try this or anybody who's having the issue. And if it works, please let me know. If it does not, then I will try to post the solution in text in the comments or even make another video. I do hope it does work for you because Google Assistant is very, very useful on the watch. But anyway, wherever you are in the world, have a great morning, a great afternoon, a great evening, or a great night. And I will see you in the next video.